this this doesn't exist ignore it imagine you see this a cute lovey-dovey looking shoujo anime being recommended to you by hulu so you click on it like i did only to stumble upon the most bland and boring but most importantly toxic anime that you've ever come across in existence okay maybe i'm just being a little bit dramatic but hey i'm going to introduce you to this absolute trash anime that you might know that you might not know that you might love that you might hate known as itha kiss also known as itha zura no kiss and there's also a spin-off j drama of it called mischievous kiss so let's start with what even is an Ita kiss? According to Wikipedia, because I want to give you an unbiased summary before I completely hate parade on it. According to Wikipedia, Ita kiss, also known as Ita Zura no kiss, is a romantic comedy story where a dim-witted high school girl named Kotoko Aihara finally confesses her romantic feelings to a fellow senior named Naoki that she has been infatuated with from afar since she saw him on their first day of high school. Oh brother. However, Naoki rejects her offhand. Fate intertwines when a mild earthquake ruins Kotoko's family house, and I think in Mischievous Ki Kiss, a comet or meteor shower hits Kotoko's house, but I don't remember. While the house is being rebuilt, Kotoko and her father stay at home, stay at the home of her father's childhood best friend, whose name is revealed to be Naoki. Naoki eventually falls for Kotoko. So that was a fucking lie. Despite her clingy ways and childish behavior, and starts to have romantic and protective feelings for her. Okay, so now that I've read that Wikipedia summary, we're going to completely ignore it, okay? Because it was filled with lies. So what's wrong with this anime? Why do I have a bone to pick? Okay, let us start with the male protagonist of this story. Naoki Ire. This dude is confusing AF. He can't make up his mind on what he wants. He's rude, he's cold, he's distant. When Kotoko tries to forget him, he kisses her that so that she can't get over him. That's just fucked up. That's just messed up, dude. I don't know. Even when he eventually gets into a relationship with her, and yes, they do get into a relationship, he's cold and distant towards her even then. He's so bad to the point where, like, Side characters tell Kotoko to leave him. <laughs> that doesn't happen. That doesn't happen in any other anime ever. No one in shoujo anime tells the main character to leave the lead protagonist, dude. But in nursing school especially, she comes across this game, uh, this game, this guy named Keita, and Keita tells her to leave him. Naoki never really develops as a character, and when he does, he does the bare minimum. It's quite sad, and not to mention, like I said earlier, it's really sad to see him show very little affection towards his own wife. Like, my guy, why did you even marry her? Do you even like her? Well, uh, huh? Not to mention, after they get married, he still mocks her and makes fun of her. Like, I think she gets a little jealous of him talking to his co-workers. I think he openly is okay with women flirting with him and he doesn't like shoo them away it's red flag moving on to the female lead in question with a lack of taste in men kotoko aihara this girl is a mess she has no dreams or aspirations of her own she has nothing that motivates her to think and do for herself she mindlessly chases this man and even decides her career choice based off his he wants to be a doctor, so she decides she wants to be a nurse so that they can work together. I swear there's nothing in this girl's brain. It's empty. It's all just eating. And she's kind of boy crazy. Calm down, girl. Calm down. I think the biggest reason why it feels so empty and wrong is because the author, rest in peace, is a woman herself. Girl, why would you write a female lead to a shonen, cutesy, lovey-dovey anime? And why is the female lead mindlessly chasing after a guy she has no dreams or aspiration of her own she, everything she does is for this man like dude what the heck it's so weird kotoko i think lacks self-respect because she has been humiliated humiliated hum humiliated humiliated oh my god the more i say it the more i can't pronounce it 
humiliated uh, by Ire on multiple occasions and she still goes chasing after him before they were dating and after they were dating and when they were married. Like, she doesn't value how she gets treated, I feel like. It's so sad. It, it's, it's really sad. Like, she doesn't do anything for herself. If she bought new shoes, it's probably for him. New outfit, probably for him. New bag, probably for him. New hairstyle, probably for him. Like, girl. Do something for yourself. She just felt very aimless and just like Ide, she had very little character development and if there was development, it wasn't the maturity that I thought I would see. It wasn't at all. And I never watched that anime as a kid and I'm glad I didn't because I probably would have liked it because I was dumb as a kid. And I like, there are a lot of animes that I'm watching now as an adult and I'm like, bro, I really liked her character. It's just, she just picked the wrong guy to like, you know? She deserves to be loved and hugged and have someone show and express their love towards her and not be cold and dis- I think one of the things that makes the anime a little frustrating eventually to watch, especially when they're married and he's just being an ass to her, is because um, uh, it's hard to watch because there are people in real life who are stuck in very toxic relationships like that and so I kind of don't like how it starts showing that. I mean, in a way it's good that it shows that dysfunctional aspect but they try and kind of make it like a cute, like, oh, it's all on her to make that relationship work. Like, it's very heavy. Last final thought I probably have to give about Kotoko is that her feelings were a little too strong and it didn't help that Ide's mom wanted Kotoko and Ire to end up together. I think that was a really toxic and bad thing. I think that's another reason why Ire ends up marrying Kotoko because he knows his mom likes uh, Kotoko. I could be wrong, like I said. I'm just, I'm just a hater. If there's someone else who doesn't like Ire, hi, welcome to the club. You and me, it's just you and me. Changes in shoujo anime that have happened since that garbage. Um, I think more female protagonists have goals, dreams, and aspirations. Um, a lot of them aren't controlled by their romantic desire to be with someone and uh, usually have a goal that they're going and running towards to achieve. In conclusion, if you like Ita Kiss, I will not judge you, but tell me, what do you like about the anime the most? A little cringy shoujo anime never really hurt anyone. I'm just here to point out how toxic that relationship was. Make sure ladies and gentlemen and theys to love yourself, chase after your dreams and goals, and never stand for public humiliation from the person that you like. Okay? Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time at the Meow Tavern. Bye!